Okay. All right. Hi, my name's Marlena. I am a project design specialist at Dolling House Construction. Basically, I am a professional problem solver. So I go into homes where homeowners have concerns of foundation issues, whether it be cracks that they see or movement in their floor. And I just go in and pretty much assess the situation. I take photos, I take measurements. I look at the surrounding, you know, circumstances on the exterior, see if there's anything that could possibly be contributing to it, really trying to find the root cause of the problem. It's a lot of uh, investigating. Typically, my day will start in the morning. Um, I drive to the customer's home, whether it be here in the valley. I go drive up north to Flagstaff, Williams, Lakeside, Pine Top area. I can go down south to Tucson area. So. It consists of a lot of driving, you know, I'm a professional driver on top of a problem solver. But so I, I drive to the home, meet with the homeowner and, you know, just try to figure out what their concerns are. What is it that they're seeing that kind of prompted them to call in the first place? And then, you know, I get started. One thing that I see a lot is tree roots. A lot of people don't realize the effects that tree roots can have on their foundation. Um, that's usually one of the main things that I look for when I start seeing certain things like once I do my floor level survey and I'm measuring the floor elevation to see what it's doing, I'm looking for indications again of what could potentially be causing this. And a lot of times, you know, customers have tree roots, they have leaks that they didn't know they had. Um, so I help a lot with those sorts of things. So definitely don't want to have anything planted closer than 10 feet, um, depending on the type of tree. Again, having a sisu tree, a ficus, um, those are those root systems are extremely invasive and can wreak havoc on your home. So if you have a sisu, cut it down because it's gonna cause you problems or it's gonna cause damage to your neighbor's house and then you're gonna be responsible for that. I think it's important when you have, you know, you have a stranger coming into your home. I'm extremely private and, you know, protective of my safe space. That's my home. I want some, I want someone to feel comfortable with me entering their safe space and their home, um, knowing that I'm there to, to do a job and, and ultimately I'm there to help them. I'm not there to sell them anything. There's gonna be plenty of times where I don't recommend anything be done. Sometimes you just need to fix your grading and your, you know, your drainage. Maybe you just need to get some gutters. But I want people to know and feel comfortable with the fact that I'm in there to, again, service them and to help them, regardless if I sell them something or not. I love to garden. So I have a garden. Um, my boss tells me I'm like the only person in Arizona he knows that's able to grow stuff out in this heat. But I like to garden. I um, eventually one day I would like to have like a full functioning homestead. You know, I have a, a home in Levine, which is you know on the outskirts of Phoenix, and it's it's an old farming community. The easiest thing for me to grow right now is Armenian cucumbers. Um, they get massive really fast and they taste great because they're a cross between a cucumber and a melon. So I have four children. My family is everything to me. So everything I do is, is for my kids, for my family to be able to provide a, a, you know, a good future for them to help them be healthy and you know stay safe so um not a helicopter mom but i i you know make sure that you know they're aware of their surroundings at all times and, and that sort of thing so yeah i mean family is everything we go to church every sunday together we serve at the church together um i raise my children to you know be 
God-fearing kids and try to, you know, make a difference in, in the world. Fun facts. Um, when I was in high school, I took auto body collision repair. So I can fix a dent in a car, I can paint it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, um, that's awesome. Appreciate the time. And I um, forgot the second part. Hopefully you're, able to learn Hopefully you're able to learn a little bit about me and then you'll be comfortable me, you know, coming to your home and entering your safe space. If you do have any questions um, before I get to your home, feel free to jot them down, shoot me an email. I'm more than happy to discuss things with you before I show up for our appointment.